A four hollow circular cone of water is held upside down with its axis vertical. The cone's radius to height is in the ratio of 5 to 12. Water is poured in at the rate of 6 cm cubed per second, but leaks through a small hole in the vertex at the rate of 9 cm cubed per second. Find a differential equation relating the rate of change of the height of the water in the cone and calculate the rate of change of the height when the height is 4 cm. Right, before we do this, let's have a look at what we ha what, what's happening here. So what we've got here is a cone full of water and water is pouring in at 6 cm cubed per second and the water is pouring out at 9 cm cubed per second. So let's just have a think what will actually happen. Okay, if we start the animation, we'll see what will happen. Because the rate here is greater than the rate here, the water will gently uh, lower, the level of the water will gently lower and the water will eventually uh, pour out. And what we're trying to find is the rate of change of the height of the water. Okay, so this animation I will attach to the notes of the video of this uh, GeoGebra output. To go back to the start, all you need to do is press the reset. Okay, so what you should do in a problem like this, you should draw something out. So that the, 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 here is the drawing. Uh, so the water going in is six, and the water going out is nine. If we mark on the radius of where the water is and the height, and we are required to find the rate of change of height dh over dt. Now, before we could do that, let's have a look at what the uh, volume of a cone is. So the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. So we're going to need a relationship with volume with just h in it. So have we got a way of eliminating r? Well, we are told that the ratio of the uh, radius to the height is the ratio of 5 to 12. So that means that r over h is 5 over 12. And therefore, we can rewrite r as 5 h over 12 and then what we do we take that and we'll substitute that in instead of r so we get one third pi times 5 h over 12 or squared times h so the next step would be to square that 5 squared is 25 12 squared is 144 h squared is h squared and then combine it with the three we're going to get that the volume is 25 over 432 pi h cubed, that'd be h cubed because it's h squared times h. And if we differentiate that, we'll get dv by dh, so the 3 will come down in front of the 25, but it actually cancels with uh, 432. 4, 3, 2, R, uh, add up to 9, so they will cancel, so we end up with 25 over 144 pi h squared. Right, we're still going to need some, uh, something else, but we are told in the question the rate of change of the volume. So the rate of change of the volume, dv by dt, is the water in minus the water out. Now the water in is 6 and the water out is 9. So the change of water will be minus 3 centimetres cubed by, per second. It's minus because the water is decreasing. So now we have all the information that we want. We know we want to find dh dt. We've got d, dv by dh and also we've now got dv by dt. So, so we require dh dt. We've got dv by dh is 2544 pi h squared and dv by dt is equal to minus 3 centimeters cubed per second. Using the chain rule we can say that dh by dt, so we have to be careful here, so we're going to want um, probably to invert this one, so we need dh over dv times dv by dt. Just check that will actually give me dh dt. So you need to be careful because you will need to take the reciprocal of this one. This is going to be 144 over 25 pi h squared, which is the reciprocal of this, times minus 3, which is what dv by dt is. 
So that's going to give me that dh dt is going to be minus 432 over 25 pi h squared. So here is my differential equation for part a. Right, we need to now find dh over dt when h is 4. So all we do is put 4 in here. So we've got 4 minus 432 divided by 25 pi times 4 squared. And that's going to give me 27 over 25 pi centimeters per second. So the water, the height is going to change at that rate. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the rate of change of the differential equation or the rate of change of height in water flowing in and out of a cone. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. I just remind you again that the GeoGebra Appler will be in the notes of the video. Thank you.